Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have been failed by governments, uh, successive governments, and whether that's the Liberal or the Labor government. Um, really, this, the, the voice for me enables us to have a new relationship with government. You know, over Every year there's over $30 billion spent on Indigenous affairs. Really, policy and legislation made for us without us. And, and the voice will ensure that we have a direct line and have influence around how that money is best being utilised. Uh, and really, for me, um, the national voice has to tie into what we're talking around the regional and local voices in order for it to be a success. The referendum can be a nation building moment because it acknowledges that we can't change our past. Like many nations, uh, we have a past uh, that uh, includes divisive policies and poor outcomes for our First Nations people. What we can do is create a better future and we can pay homage to those people that have lived experience of those failed policies and divisive approaches by giving them hope that future generations can live their lives to their full potential as Australians contributing to our great nation. Well, I think what we know from the last 200 plus years is that not having a voice to parliament, not having a direct input to decision making has led to all sorts of terrible consequences for Aboriginal people and communities. A voice will at a minimum ensure that the perspectives of Aboriginal people are heard in the decision making and that they're guaranteed. Without that, um, we look like doing more of the same. The voice is one of the most significant opportunities for reconciliation in this country for many years. I have worked for over 30 years on reconciliation in this country and this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to move forward together. Well it's a no-brainer really, I mean anything that impacts on us we should have a voice and an opinion and we, we don't seem to have that and I think for, for most of us there's the dominant culture which is a 96% of having too much say and we need to change that rhetoric and be involved in decision making for our people.